Hey everybody, it's Anna My Cat, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to add very cool particle effects to your Minecraft items. So this is a very simple command which I'm sure many of you will probably be able to learn by the end of this video, and it basically involves the execute command, the particle command, and also some other things which I can show you in this video. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So as you can see, this is what you will end up with at the end of the video. So this item here, which is a diamond, if I do drop it, you'll notice that there is a very cool trail that follows behind it. So I just chose the water dripping effect just because it kind of looks bluish like the diamond. So let's get a command block, and to get the command block, all you have to do is go slash give at s, and then you need to just type in command block. Okay, and then press enter. So once you do that, you want to place the command block on the ground. And the reason why we're actually using the command block this video is because um, we want to we want to keep on repeating this command over and over again so that we keep on getting a really cool particle effect on the diamond. So command line, it only does it once, where with command block you can actually set it to a repeat mode where it will constantly repeat the command. So what you first want to do is you want to type in slash execute, then type in at, and then type in at e. So at e stands for at entity, and if you wanted to do it to a player, so the particle effect, you would type in at A, or the player name, but because an item is an entity, we want to do entity. And then what you want to do is you want to type in name equals, oops, and then you want to type in diamond. Oops, there we are. Once you do that, now you want to do the second step of the command, which is running the particle command. So if you do want to know more about the particle command, I've done so many videos on it, I think, but it's in the description below if you want to use it or check it out. I've got two videos on it. Uh, one's advanced, one is just the basics, and um, yeah, so I'll leave those in the description as well. But what you want to do is you want to type in slash run, or not slash run, and then type in uh, particle, and then you can choose whatever particle you want. I will choose, because I'll do um, diamond again, well actually I can't do diamond because I've got the uh, command running in glowstone. And my particle will be lava dripping. So, and you can choose whatever particle you want, whatever item you want. This is, I'm just doing an example like this. Um, after you do that, you then want to type in the coordinates. So, these three titles mean that you will direct the particle to uh, the exact point. And if you wanted to make the particles go above um, your item, you could do that because it's x, y, and z. Y is in the middle. Or if you wanted to make it go beneath, you would go negative 1. And then if you wanted to change the x positive, you put whatever positive number there. Uh, same goes for negative and also for the um, z. Once you do that, you then want to do three zeros. If you do want spread though, you can also add spread. Um, I might just do 0 0.1. Now I'll set the speed to 0, count to 1, and we will put force on. So I always forget this, they added this in the new update, you actually have to do at A at the end of the command, sorry, forgot about that. When you do the command, you also need to make sure that everything is spelt correctly. So with my example before, I typed in glowstone without the capital G, but obviously Minecraft's cat sensitive, so you actually had to make it capital G, just like the name of the item here. See, it's got a capital G, and as you can see, once I've done that, it adds this really cool effect. So if you did want to make the effect go down, as I said before, I made it go up, you can just take away that one, and then you'll notice that the cool lava dripping effect will be underneath the glowstone. So this is really cool as well because you can throw it, and it has the really cool particle trail, and um, yeah, it's really cool. Also, it unfortunately, when it's in your inventory though, it will not do it, um, so it will not drip, but as soon as you chuck it out of your inventory, it will. But that's about it, so thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new, that would be greatly appreciated. Also if you have any comments or suggestions about any future videos, please leave them in the description below as well. Uh, I love reading through them, I love getting your suggestions, and uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video, see ya!